sweet, sweet loving got me going to the extreme. Won't go without it. Vibe has got a hold on me. Satisfying, baby. Let me show you what I'm made of. No doubt about it, boy, got me feeling things I can't get enough. Baby, 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 won't you come to me? Show me who you are. Sweet to me like sugar to my heart. I'm craving for you. I'm missing you like candy. It got kind of weird at the end, but that's all right. We love Mandy Moore. We love early Mandy Moore. So she was only like 16 when she sang that song. Ooh, yikes. <laughs> um, but that's okay. That's all right. Anyway, I have a couple packages. A -do 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 -do. Look at these. Look at these earrings. I got these years, like three years ago when I was still in Detroit during the pandemonium. And, um, I just like randomly saw them from a f like a friend of a friend of a friend on Instagram and they're like metal. This part's metal and this part's like felt. Look at, okay, I needed to stop, but like, ugh. if I can find the girl's info from that long ago, like her Instagram or whatever, I will share it. I don't know if I can, but it was really cool because she was like also in the surrounding Detroit area um so yeah anyway I have some stuff I got some stuff and I got some more stuff and some more stuff and I got some stuff okay so I'm just gonna like get into it I guess I'm Liv if you're new here I'm Liv I like things and stuff um I like movies and clothing and music and stuff like that. Okay, good talk. Um, so, I haven't opened things in a minute. And so I have some things. And the first thing is this cool zine from one of my vagrant friends, Joshua. Um, he's super creative and just like a really cool dude. So, uh, yeah, very cool. I'll, I'll ask if he wants me to put a link of some sort in here. We'll see. But like, he's already working on another one and like makes cool drawings. Um, he's been doing cool drawings of like cryptids <laughs> recently. So that's the first thing. Super stoked on that. Like when friends make fun DIY stuff. So, um, then I have, this one's weird because I think I only got two DVDs, but this is a bigger box and like, it's heavier than two DVDs. So something tells me that he put something else in here besides two DVDs, unless I'm forgetting something because that would not be outrageous that I forgot that I bought something. But, um... I'm very excited for these two DVDs. DVDs. Yeah, there's definitely more in here. Uh, because he's just a heck of a guy. And let's see what we've got. Okay, so this is from um, one of our fearless leaders in the Video Vagrants Facebook group. Uh, Matt slash Hugh. Matthew. We know him as Hugh. Um, aww. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, so what I actually got, he was selling season two and four of Are You Afraid of the Dark? And like any seasons are awesome, but these are two really good seasons. Um, so just to give you an idea, if you are an Are You Afraid of the Dark? aficionado like myself you hear things like uh the final wish freaking bobcat is in that one that was my introduction to bobcat goldthwaite 
was the tale of the final wish um locker 22 the hatching that's a good alien one frozen ghost 13th floor another good alien one nightmares midnight madness nosferatu da, uh, ba, da, mm, with a va 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 uh <laughs> Just sounds like nonsense if you don't know are you afraid of the dark dream machine that's a great one that's the typewriter one i believe um magician's assistant old man corker and full moon that one's wild that's one that i never remembered actually airing on tv super weird like 50s like 90s does 50s weird stuff whispering walls shiny red bicycle scariest one in my opinion when i was a kid nightmares all the nightmares shiny red bicycle and dark dragon which kind of goes hand in hand tell the dark dragon kind of goes hand in hand with this this little number love potion number nine that he threw in it's like a love potion that goes wrong but this one's scary and this one's like weird and funny um i love this movie so and then season four has, what do we have here? Renegade Virus. That one's nuts. Uh, Water Demons. Great, great stuff. Uh, Long Ago Locket. Sure. Room for Rent. That's an awesome one. Ghastly Grinner. Classic. Top five, probably. Um, Fire Ghost is another good one. Unfinished Painting is another good one. Train Magic. I don't really care for it, but it has... Uh, What's his face? Gregory something. I can't remember his name. Oh no. I can't remember his name. Xenon's boyfriend. You know. Xenon's boyfriend. You guys know. Okay, so love potion number nine. I don't know if I have this on tape, actually. Um Sandra Bullock, who we're supposed to believe is like not gorgeous. Um and what's his name? He has a weird name. Starts with a T. Tate. Tate Donovan. From, I know him from the OC, but he's been in a lot of things. Um, let's see what it says. Paul Matthews, played by Tate, is a brilliant but desperately lonely biochemist who seeks advice from a gypsy fortune teller. The fortune teller gives him a mysterious dark red potion guaranteed to turn his life around. For purely professional reasons, Paul shows the, my goodness, so many P's. Purely professional reasons, Paul shows a potion to his, <laughs> to his co-worker, Diane, Sandra Bullock, a socially inept comparative psychobiologist. That's a word. As skeptical scientists, they decide to test the potion on chimpanzees in their lab and are amazed at the magical, arousing results. They even discover the scientific explanation of how the liquid works. But the real question is, how does the love potion affect humans? There's only one way to find out, leaving Paul and Diane no choice but to test it on themselves. 1992. A doo 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 This is a really fun one. Really fun. Um, yeah. I was going to say something, but I can't think of the word right now. It'll come to me probably like before the end of the video and then it'll, it'll make no sense. I'll just be like, say word. And anyway, okay. What else have we got here? Slackers. Uh, I don't think I have this either. I don't know. I don't think I do. Again, most of my stuff is not where I'm living. So I don't remember some of the things that I have or don't have. Um, but this is an outrageous, sexy comedy from the producers of I Know What You Did Last Summer. Stars Breakout Talents, Devin Sawa. Oh, my love. Oh, my goodness. Jason Schwartzman, James King, I do not know. And Laura Preppen, which is kind of weird now, but okay. Uh, crafty roommates Dave, Sam, and Jeff are happily scheming their way through college, but when super nerdy Ethan spots Dave stealing test questions, he threatens to turn them in unless they hatch a plan to hook him up with beautiful Angela, the object of Ethan's unhealthy obsession. The guys take on the challenge, but when Dave and Angela start to fall in love instead, all bets are off, and that's when Ethan's antics turn hilariously psychotic. <laughs> 
um, yeah, there was all sorts of, like, bets involving women in the late 90s and early 2000s and other times, but, like, really focused in that general period. Really great time. Really great time. Um, and then Into the Night, A Dangerous Romance. Oh my goodness. I do not even... Jeff Goldblum and Michelle Pfeiffer? What? Um, when two strangers stumble into international intrigue in the middle of a Los Angeles night, anything can happen, and does, in this zany comedy directed by John Landis. Ed Orkin, <laughs> Goldblum, is an insomniac with a cheating wife and a dull job. His, ch his chances for excitement look hopeless until a mysterious blonde named Diana, played by Pfeiffer, drops onto the hood of his car drops onto the hood of his car because that happens now it's ed's turn for some adventure and romance as diana leads him on a merry and murderous chase where the payoff could be in dollars or death the outstanding cast includes david bowie vera miles dan Aykroyd, and a host of hollywood's hottest directors in cameos it's a night on the town you'll never live down Whoa! <laughs> Tongue twisters. Um, yeah, I'm excited for this. Yay! Thanks. Thanks, Hugh. Um, and then I had two more things. One of them I completely forgot that I bought. And I was like, oh, I love this t-shirt place. It's Paradise of Flowers. I've talked about them before. I get a lot of my, like, weird... TV, TV movie reference things from them. So that I should have known right away what it was, but I forgot that I got this. And um, if you're like a decom gal or any guy or gal or whomever decom lover, um, this is the place to check out the Instagram of this place. And ooh, this one's so good. I like I need to stop buying shirts and like I'm doing pretty pretty good pretty good about it except for when things like this get made and then I like can't like not get it because like I mean like I don't even know what you can see but like I feel like you can see things and stuff and I'm just really excited But like, <laughs> so it's got a lot of the greats. It's got a lot of the greats. We got Brink, which I still don't have a tape of. It's kind of hard to get. And we got Motocross. I don't have a tape of that either. But I have a tape of this other Motocross movie that has the same girl in it. And I think her love interest as well, possibly. I got to talk about that. Um, Johnny Tsunami was not one of my faves, but it's pretty... Uh, Pretty iconic. Luck of the Irish. I have that one. Everyone loves Ryan Merriman. Come on. 13th year. Classic. I think I have that one. <laughs> Double teamed I have and it's great. Alley Cat Strike I do not have. Did they put that out on VHS? I don't know. But it's really good. Ooh, 7 ten split. Am I right? And Xenon. Which I only have Xenon the sequel on tape. I need to get the original because it's the best one and I need it. I need it. Eventually. Okay. And then last but not least from Nightmare Video, my guy Ricky, my boy Ricky at Nightmare Video. I'll see what he wants me to share with, he has like a um, Instagram and a YouTube he like has cool friends that make music and he films their shows and they're really rad. So we'll see what he wants to share and I'll share a link or two or three or whatever. Um, but his girlfriend was getting rid of this shirt and oh nice. Look at the sticker. I love that. Great colors. Awesome. Very cool. Um, and he was like, do you want this for five bucks? And I was like, yeah. Maybe it was 10. I don't remember. I think it was five. It was really cheap. And I'm like, 
yeah, Goonies, of course. I used to have a Goonies shirt and I think it got too small or something, but this should fit pretty well, I would say. And it's a crop top, so even better. And he also threw in a tape. So, heck of a guy. Love it. Very excited about all of this. And uh, I, do, I do still have some more tapes coming from the guy Corey that I was talking about in the last video. Like a lot that I got from him off Instagram like a month or two ago. Oh, Jesus. Heck yeah. Cute. It's got the little icon emblem. Goonies never say die, man. Very cute. Okay. Anyway, I just wanted to see. Uh, I love crop tops. Okay. Um, yeah, that's it for now. Uh, I really do need to like start doing Depop or something, something, because like the amount of clothing that I have surrounding me, taking up like all of the closet space in my apartment is not okay. It's not okay. And I need to do something about it. So, um, I need to like start doing something about it. <laughs> And, like, hopefully filming it will help actually, like, do something about it. Maybe? I don't know. Also, my subscribers just keep, like, going up and up and up. I'm almost at 3,000 now. So, things are weird. And, um, the goal is to get monetized by the end of the year. I know I'm not going to make much money from this, but it, a little bit is something and yeah now i hear a lawnmower in the background um yeah okay be kind and rewind guys bye